if you price it right and get it ready to go, they are coming in with multiple offers again. Have you finally decided to cash in on your equity thinking it's time to sell? Did you get a job in another state? It's a great time to sell. Spring market is rolling around. There have been some changes and you can check out the videos on my channel that I've done previously about the shifts in the market. And if you're a buyer, kind of the things that you have in your favor right now. But if you're looking to sell, it is a great time to sell. So I have some tips for you today on how to prepare your home for sale hopefully to make it a super easy and fast process for you. If you have not clicked like, please do so. Please subscribe to this channel and join our growing community of C4 real estate team cheerleaders. And we're here to bring value, answer your questions, and hopefully help you, help you with all of your real estate needs. Okay, let's get into how to prepare your home for sale. Gone is 20, the year 2020 to 2021, where all you had to do is put a sign in the yard. So we are back to actually getting houses ready to sell. My very first tip for you if you're getting ready to sell is to declutter. So what I mean by that, kids toys room, that's a huge one. I mean, you have toys for your kids. You don't have to throw stuff away. My biggest recommendation to my sellers is if you are gonna take stuff with you but you don't need it in the next 30 to 60 days, buy those big Tupperware bins, throw them in there, label it and stack them in the garage. It's the quickest and easiest way to declutter and it makes such a huge difference when we're showing the house. Get rid of the junk drawer. I promise you people are opening your drawers. They're looking in your closets. The garage is kind of the catch-all. I always tell my sellers, you know what, you still have to live here, but we're trying to declutter. So the garage is a great place for it. If you can make it organized, all the better. But people understand, I mean, you still live there, you still have your stuff and you're trying to pack um, and take it with you. Don't worry about the garage. The more you can get out of the house, the better. Decluttering also includes furniture. So if you have a room that just has a ton of furniture in it, you're not sure what to do with it. If you're not taking it to the next house, sell it throw it on ksl.com. Facebook has a ton of marketplaces that you could sell it on too. Or again, in the meantime, let's get it in the garage, out of the house. I also have a great stager who could come in, use your furniture in some cases. In some cases, she wants you to take all of your furniture out and then she brings in hers, but I'm telling you it's worth every penny. Okay, after you've decluttered, you're gonna wanna do a deep clean. I do a ton of videos for out-of-state buyers, mostly military, right? Because they can't get here, they're overseas. But I do a ton of videos. I've actually had several buyers buy houses sight unseen based on my videos. But what I do in my videos is I'm that person who's like picking up the carpet, looking underneath it to see if you're hiding anything. Um, I'm showing them the baseboards. I'm showing them like the air vents. That's me. So when I say deep clean, that's where I'm talking like take a couple days, get a couple toothbrushes, get down there, clean those baseboards, clean those air vents, change the air filter. That's huge when you're when you're you know doing your deep clean. I found mine in the kitchen section at Smith, but. It's literally like one of those things that you would rub on your heel to get the dead skin off. Loofa pad? No, it's not a loofa. Oh, nuts. Anyways, um, they're amazing and they don't scratch the glass door or the toilet. So you can look for those. Those are excellent for deep cleaning. While you're in the deep cleaning mode, I highly recommend you, if you have carpets, get them professionally cleaned. Do you have a cat or a dog or pets, um, little kids? Yeah, you need to have the carpets professionally cleaned. The problem with pets is if they have done their business in the carpet, sometimes getting them clean actually brings the smell out. So you wanna do it, you know, a week or two before you're gonna show it, before we're gonna list it. So it can air out and smell clean when everybody's coming through. The next tip I have, Let's get almost all, I would say 90% of your personal pictures off the walls. Yeah, I know it, you still gotta live there and you still love your family, but you can love them with the pictures in a Tupperware bin wrapped up, ready to be moved as well. I promise you, you do not love them any less if you take their pictures down. It's really hard when you go into a house and the wall is just covered in um, personal family pictures. It's, it's hard. What I say to my buyers is that's gonna be a lot of nail holes 
to fix. And that leads into my fifth point, which is if you're gonna remove the personal pictures, let's get the paint matched, let's spackle those holes, and then let's touch up the paint. Now, I say that with some caution because it is very hard to color match your paint if you don't have a leftover can with the correct sheen and everything else. Again, this is not something you wanna do the night before you go live or the night before you have a showing because it might take a couple tries for you to match that paint, for you to blend it and feather it and do all of that to get all the nail holes covered up. But this is one of the biggest and best things I think you can do is just take those pictures off the walls, get, them, get the walls as clean as possible. If you need to repaint the whole wall, just it doesn't take that long. You know, make sure you cut in, don't get paint on the ceiling, because then that's another thing that the buyers are like, oh my gosh, now we have to paint the ceiling. So, you know, just really take your time. Um, these are things that you can do to prepare before you, that you should prepare for before you go live. Doing these things ahead of time is certainly gonna speed up the process for not only being able to get your house on the market, but then also for offers. And it really raises a lot less of red flags when buyers come in and don't have to, you know, the first thing they see are dirty carpets. They already know they're gonna have to clean them or replace them. If that's all done, they can walk through the house and really see the house and not be nitpicky about all this small stuff that's really no big deal. The first link down in the comments below is my Calendly link. So you can click on that and let's schedule a time to chat. If you're looking to buy or to sell or you just have some questions, schedule a time in, in my calendar link down below and let's talk. Let's just kind of see what questions you have. I'm happy to answer them. Again, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We've got videos coming out every Monday and thanks for watching.